What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 1, Section 1.1, Exercise 7 in the Calculus Single Variable 6th Edition Textbook by Hughes Hallett, Gleason, McCallum, et al. Chapter 1 is all about a library of functions. Section 1.1 is all about functions and change. And in Exercise 7, we are given two points and asked to find the equation for the line that passes through those two points. And so in this problem, the two points that we are given are negative 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 6. These are in the notation x comma y. So your first indice is your x coordinate and your second indice is your y coordinate for both points. I'm going to label these as point 1 and point 2. And the generic equation for a line is y equals mx plus b where m is your slope, b is your y-intercept, and so we have all the information we need to calculate the slope, so I'll do that first. Your slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Your 1 and 2 here correspond to point 1 and 2, and so this is going to be equal to y2, which is 6, minus y1, which is 0, over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is negative 1. This is equal to 6, and in the denominator we have a double negative, so this is really 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3, and 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So now we can take that slope and plug it into our generic equation. That'll give us y equals 2x plus b, and so now what we can do is find our y-intercept, and the way that you do that is you plug in either of your points, either one will give you the same y-intercept, and then solve for b. So I'm going to plug in point 1, and so we'll say using point 1, your y-coordinate is 0, and that's equal to 2 times your x-coordinate, which is negative 1, plus b. So here you have 0 equals negative 2 plus b, and if you add 2 to both sides, you'll get that b is equal to 2. And so now we can take that y-intercept and plug it into our equation right here, and so that's going to give us y equals 2x plus 2. And so that is the equation of a line that passes through these two points. And just to be sure that this is correct, we can do a little check. And so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in both of our points and check to see if both sides of the equation are satisfied. So if we plug in point 1, your y-coordinate is 0, so that means 0 is equal to 2 times your x-coordinate, which is negative 1, plus 2. So 0 equals negative 2 plus 2. 0 equals 0. That checks out. So we'll do the same thing for point 2. Your y-coordinate is 6. And that's going to be equal to 2 times your x-coordinate, which is 2, plus 2. 6 equals 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6, so 6 equals 6. So both of our points check out, and this right here is indeed the equation for the line that passes through those two points and the final answer to this problem. So that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.